Now, for changing the password, we want to take a slightly different approach. We're going to create a method on our user model. Now, traditionally, what we might do here is say something like this auth user. And now that we're working with an eloquent model, we can use something like update. We can use password like this and do what we want. So what we're going to do is instead say something like this auth user set password. And what we could even do is create this or do this on our sign up process as well. So we can insert the record into the database and then set the password. We'll not do that. I'll let you decide if that makes sense for you. But for now, all we want to do is set the password to the new password. We know that the validation has passed. We know that the old password is correct. So now we just call a method on the user model. So let's head over to our user model and let's create this method. So set password. And of course, into this, we want to take a new password. So now all we have to do is this update password. And of course, now we need to hash the new password as well. That's really important. We obviously don't want to store it in plain text. So we use the password hash function. We pass in the plain text password. We pass in the algorithm we want to use, which is password default, and we are done. So that's it. Now we just call that here, set password. We pass the new password in. So it's request get param and the new password is named password. We flash a message, which we've already done, and we redirect the user. So we'll flash a message first. So it's this flash add message, and we'll store this under info. That makes more sense. Your password was changed, and then we'll redirect. So return response with redirect. From our router, we want the path for, let's just say home, it could be anything. So now that we've got this all together, we can test it out. So again, I'm going to enter my current password. I'm gonna enter my new password, hit change. Looks like it worked. So I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna sign in with my new password. Actually, let me sign in with my old password. Didn't work. Sign in with my new password, works perfectly easy as that. And we now have a method on our user model that we can use again and again if we want without duplicating any code.